Hey there, we got an unboxing. I just got this today. I paid like $22 for this on Amazon. So let's get it open and see what we got. Okay, there it is. It is a Rambo style survival knife. And let's get it out of this green plastic sheet. There it is. There is the blade. Kind of a satin finish. It's uh, over an eighth of an inch thick, probably like three sixteenths. Not quite a quarter. Wow, it's got, this saw blade on the back is extremely sharp. Like that's more of a legit like saw blade than what you normally would get on the back of these type of knives. Quite nice. Now, this is a hollow handled survival knife. And it's got the zinc alloy handle, not aluminum, this is zinc. The Harbor Freight version of this is the aluminum one. I think the hand guard's aluminum and this handle's aluminum with the stainless steel blade. Whereas this one has a stainless steel blade, but I think the guard, the handle, and the butt cap are a zinc alloy. Feels nice in the hand, good texture, really good grip on that. It would be cold in the winter, but really grippy. The blade is not full tang because it has a hollow handle. The tang only goes like this far. So it's held in with an Allen, an Allen, key screw there and it doesn't even go the whole way through but it does seem like this is in there very solid like no wiggle at all okay but let's look at the sheath real quick it's got a bunch of uh i don't think it's real paracord but it it's like a knockoff paracord it's wrapped in that that's the symbol there on the sheath. You can see there's more stuff in there. Behind this paracord, because I saw in another video, there is a sharpening stone. It looks like it's a ceramic, like white ceramic sharpening stone made onto the sheath there. And this metal here folds up and locks in the place. And it's a slingshot. Now you can hold it like this and put the rubber bands on it and you got a slingshot. And then you gotta fold it back down when you aren't using it. It also comes with a backup knife. This piece pulls out. Get it. Here's your backup knife. Skeletonized stainless steel knife. It's got a bottle opener on it. And this part here can grab onto different size like hex hex bolts and nuts and turn them. And it's got some jimping right there. It's got a gut hook. I'd say that blade's probably about three inches. It doesn't feel super sharp. This is probably about an eighth of an inch thick. So you get that for free in there with the main blade. This is your rubber tubing for the uh, slingshot. You just slide it onto the slingshot there. And this is the little 
the little leather piece with the rubber ends that holds the stone or whatever you're launching from the slingshot. And I, I seen other videos about this knife. I think you're supposed to line this up and then cut it exactly in half and then connect your little missile launcher uh, piece on there and then connect it to your slingshot. I'm not going to do all that because I really don't have any interest in the slingshot. What's weird is how this thing closes. Like instead of just having Velcro or a snap, it's got this odd odd thing here. You poke it through like that. And then what locks it in place is like this little key piece. You push it in and yeah, it does seem snug. Like it seems like it's a really tight fit. Then apparently they have one up here also. Oh, that holds this together. So you got a belt loop there. Like I said, I've seen a few other people review this already, so I kind of already know what to expect. But let's get the uh, handle opened up here. Give me a second. Okay, you got that comes off. You got a little rubber washer down there on the end. Got a compass inside of the butt cap there. And let's see if it actually works. Let me see here. Well, I'm not so sure that's working all that well. I think this is how it should be. Well, eh, who knows? I don't know. But it's got this little spring-loaded survival pack in it. And there's a spring down in there. And then basically you got your little survival kit. You got a band-aid, three matches, some fish hooks, safety pin, sewing needle, a little bit of thread. They do give you like a, like a scalpel razor blade. And there's a little white pencil there. A little broken piece of pencil that you can write a message with. You get a little pair of tweezers. You get some lead, uh, two little lead weights for a fishing line. A couple fish hooks. I think I said that already. You get a little striker for the matches. Just, just you could add your own stuff to this. I was thinking about putting a little, a little uh, fire ferro rod in there, a little fire steel, and uh, maybe putting some of those big, heavy-duty, windproof, waterproof matches in there. A couple things like that. Maybe some water purification tablets in there. But it is a hollow-handled knife. They're not known for holding up very well. I've seen a couple videos where people have bought this. And they drilled out that the whole way through and then replaced it with a solid uh, stainless steel pin. And I think that would greatly strengthen it. And then they also use uh, like Loctite on the pin and also in this area here. And they really lock that blade in. But the Harbor Freight version of this it seems like the blade comes loose very easy and people are constantly tightening it up. Whereas this one, on the reviews I've seen, it seems like the blade stays in there pretty sturdy. So I'm not super concerned about it because this would be more like just an extra backup knife that I would carry in my survival pack. But this would not be my primary blade by any means. But it does look cool. And it was affordable, like 22 bucks on Amazon, shipped. And it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a fun little knife, I guess. I like this one, even though it was a little bit more than Harbor Freight, because it comes, it's supposed to come sharp. And the Harbor Freight one is supposed to be fairly dull. And then this one, you get the extra skeletonized knife, you get the better sheath, you get the slingshot, you get the sharpening stone back here. I think this also has this, you pull this little film off and then you got like a mirror 
for signaling to people and this is what the knife clips down into like it actually if I can line it up kind of presses into there stays in place when it's in the sheath so it come with and the survival kit was better so it just seemed like an all-around better package deal that's why I grabbed it up looking at about seven and a half inches for the actual blade and it is about 13 and a half inches overall the actual part you grip onto is about four and a half inches okay got a sheet of printer paper to see if it does arrive sharp at all right out of the box Not bad. It's not a Mora by any means, but sharp enough to cut paper. <clears throat> Let's see if this little skeletonized knife that it comes with can do the same. Yeah. About the same got a workable edge on it okay there you have it this was just a tried to be a quick tabletop unboxing it also has these holes in the uh, hand guard there so you can lash it to a spear to like a long stick or a handle of some sort and make a spear out of it if need be and if you have an allen key that fits this you can tighten it up if it ever does become loose and you could also put loctite in there or do like some of those other videos maybe drill through it and turn it into a substantially better knife i know this would throw a spark from a fire steel because you can feel the 90 degree edge on it it's got a very sharp 90 degree edge but this is the maxim survival knife and you can find them on amazon better than the harbor freight version from what i've seen this is joe doomsday signing out